Hey there, welcome to the channel again. Pen friends everywhere, thank you for tuning in. It's a very exciting moment for me because the last time I recorded a review on our channel was 10 months ago. And if I remember correctly, the last video in this series in which I'm reviewing fun events was the Momento Zero Grande 2019 coffee. And what better way to start with a new review having as a subject the 2020 revamped Momento Zero Grande collection. And I have for you this beautiful Luna Rosa material. And I'm going to skip all the details of the factory. If you're interested to learn more about Leonardo Ficina Italiana, I will leave you a link for it up here or up here for a video in which I visited them in Italy two years ago. And you can see there the factory, the people, the story and everything like this. So we have a lot of things to cover regarding this 2020 revamp version. And I'm going to try to move briefly, but still show you all the details and aspects of this beautiful writing instrument. And if you are liking this kind of content, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can support us doing more videos like this. Hit the thumbs up button because that helps the algorithm and helps a lot of other people to find our videos. And now let's get into the details of this collection. With pens, presentation is just as important as the pen itself. So this is what you are going to get when you order a Momento Zero Grande 2020. So this is a box which opens like this. So inside you will find a booklet. This contains information regarding the collection, the pen itself, and instructions how to use and uh, clean the pen, fill up with ink. Then we have inside a random bottle of ink. When I say random, the color is random and this will arrive wrapped into a uh, plastic bag or so to prevent the ink spilling into transport. Then we have the pen resting safely and very, very securely inside this box. So you will not find the pen jiggling around or uh, getting damaged in transport. Now I think it's time to take the pen out and I'm going to use the overhead camera setup to show you some details and aspects. And I'm going to use a Momento Zero Grande 2019, the prior model, to show you the differences between them. This is the Momento Zero Grande 2020 Luna Rosa. And there are three more colors available in the same series. I'm going to use some pictures as reference and walk you through the entire collection. So we have Girasole, which is called Sunflower. And that is a beautiful mix of orange and dark and lighter green. Then we have the Blue Marina Capri, a vivid blue, dark blue. And last but not least, we have, and stay with me, please. I'm trying not to butcher this word. I don't know Italian, and this is called the Blue Fiero d'Aqua. And I hope I pronounced it correctly. So all these four colors, including this one, which is the Luna Rosa, is offered in both nib options, two nib materials. We have the harmonic steel nibs and the 14 karat gold nibs. Both have their own price range, so you can find the price range listed on our website. And as for steel, we have available extra fine, fine, medium, broad and stub. And for stub, we have two sizes, 1.1 and 1.5. For 14 karat gold, we have extra fine, fine, medium, broad and stub. And as for a stub, that is a 1.3 millimeter stub in 14 karat gold. And we have available a specialty nib, the um, elastic fine one, which, is, which comes at a different price range and offers the possibility of flex to the pen. 
Okay, now let's move through the details and I'm going to use the 2019 sand version, which is this one right here as a reference. And I'm going to show you what it is similar and what it is different from the prior model. So we're going to start with the cap. We have the same pointy ends, finial and uh, end knob, and those have this conic and uh, pointy shape. The cap starts to taper out towards the three ring configuration, which is similar to the 2019 version. We have the same clip and it is quite a useful clip if you ask me it is very very synonymous with vintage italian uh, writing instruments and we arrive at the first major design change with i which i think it's fairly small but it does help a lot and makes the pan look different and that is the beveled edge of the cap if on the prior model on the sand one we had this um, step down from the rings to the cap on the 2020 version on this Luna Rosa I'm, I'm going to use probably a picture to show you better a close-up we have this more flushed shape which helps the pan a lot and makes it feel different and very very solid visually there are no more setbacks from the cap to the barrel and we don't have anything uh, sharp or visually major then we are going to use one and a quarter of a turn and we're going to uncap the pan and when we are going to uncap the pan we are going to find the nib as i told you it is offered in two materials steel and 14 karat gold we have the same ebonite feed which is manufactured inside the leonardo officina italiana factory this is cut by hand on a machine by the guys there so this is not made somewhere else the section of the pan is similar to the one that we have on the sand version, the 2019 one, the same ring and the same shape, which is composed of uh, this uh, smaller diameter part near the nib. Then we have a part that is making the transition between the smaller part and the treads. It is starting to flare out and we arrive at the threads of the cap which are not sharp and they are polished very very well and by no means you can use them if you're going to grip the pen by those threads to write with it then we have this ring right here which is similar to the one that we have on the 2019 version and we arrive at the barrel which has the same shape starts to taper in towards the end knob on the barrel we find the usual engraving leonardo officina italiana and the number of the pen this is not a limited edition pen but considering that most of the time the material is finished a lot of also numbered pens from leonardo officina italiana are not limited editions but they are limited in regards of when the material is done they cannot manufacture the pen in the same material so let's call it limited and now the major design feature call it what you want of the 2020 model the filling mechanism we have a piston filling mechanism completely designed in-house built in-house and here i have to show my respect for Ciro Matroni which is the designer of this filling mechanism and it, he is a talented pen maker and the father of the current owner of the Leonardo Officina Italiana brand 
And I have to say, this is one of the largest incapacities piston filling mechanism that I've tried and I think there is available on the market. It is manufactured completely from a solid frame made from aluminum. So the inner works are made out of uh, aluminum and it's very rugged and feels light and it makes the whole pan feel very, very nice. Then we arrive at the piston knob, which is uh, this one right here. And I'm trying not to get to unscrew and play with it too much because the pen is inked. And I'm going to use some pictures to show you what I mean when I say that the piston is made out of uh, aluminum. And the uh, end knob has the same shape as the one from the prior model and the same features as the finial of the cap. Now I think it's time to put the pen side by side with other pens and show you the sizes. And I'm going to use a scale to show you if there are differences in between uh, weights from the prior model. In regards of size, I have prepared for you a collection of different pen models and we have them line up side by side with the Momento Zero Grande 2020 Luna Rosa. And I'm going to present to you the actual size in comparison to different iconic models that maybe you have them in your collection. So we have the 2019 Sand, a ASC Bologna Extra in Arco. We have a Visconti Opera Master, we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens, the Furore, and Momento Zero. So I could say that the pen feels really comfortable, it's not too big. It can be used in extensive writing sessions. I previously checked the actual size of the pen and it's 1.5 millimeters shorter than the prior model. And now let's see in regards of weight. And this pen is fully inked. We have just shy of 32 grams, 31.8 capped. Now let's see it. And we have the prior model uninked at just shy of 35 grams. So like I told you, it feels a bit lighter than the previous model. Now let's see a uncapped weight, fully inked. We have 21.3 grams. Now I think it's time to have a writing sample with the pen and see the performances of the steel nib. Harmonic steel medium. It's very smooth, it's very nice. Ink, diamine, sapphire, blue. It doesn't skip, it doesn't dry out, it has a very good flow. Now let's try the famous sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. As you can see, it writes like a dream. Now let's try a wetness test. This is one pass, fairly wet, I could say, and this is a double pass. Yes, I don't call it a gusher, but it's wet. Some of these nibs are offering a bit of um, flex, so let's try this. Mm, not so much on this one, but there is a very 
small line variation. I hope you enjoyed the writing sample with this pen. Also, all of the informations, comparisons, pictures regarding this model. And I would like not to make this video too long. So to sum everything up in a one sentence, I believe that this pen deserves a big thumbs up for all of the guys that made it possible. The guys at Leonardo Officina Italiana. I've owned this pen for two weeks. I had some time in use with it. So I could say that there is nothing else that needs improvements or changes. It behaves well. It washes very, very nice. It's a beautiful color. The resin is slightly translucent. It's fresh. It's nice. It's interesting. It's going to be a very, very nice pen of this year models. I would like to add that there is available on the Penventure uh, website this entire collection. You can um, order it. Uh, we are still looking forward at getting our entire stock delivered in a few days from now. So if you want to reserve a piece, you can go there, you can check it out, you can pick your color, trim option, nib material and anything that you desire. I will leave your link for it down below. And I think this is it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. If you want to support the channel, subscribe, hit the thumbs up for this video. It will help us to have our content reach out to many more people in this hobby. Also, if you're looking for a next writing instrument, you can go to our website. I will leave your link for it down below. You can check there. We have a variety of inks, papers, and writing instruments. Also, if you want to be updated with us, you will find a lot of content on our Instagram account. For it, you will find down below a link. And don't forget to give us a like on our Facebook page. Yet again, links for it down below. My name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video.